from our perspective as an operator, if we look at uh, how we're going to get there from where we are today, we find uh, that uh, the path for us, and not just for us, uh, for over 100 operators, is to deploy what we call long-term evolution. It's a fourth generation broadband platform. Uh, we have approximately, from our understanding, 10 companies have noted that they plan to have rollouts uh, in 2010. Uh, Verizon will be among those companies. Uh, we will be the first in the United States uh, to roll out uh, 4G, LTE. Uh, LTE is forecast to reach 32.6 million subscribers globally by year end 2013, and I list very briefly here for you uh, why we think that that is the uh, preferred path forward. Uh, it offers high speeds. You can see here 173 megabits in the downlink and 50 megabits in the uplink. It will provide excellent coverage and ill building, in building penetration, which is becoming more and more important as people use their mobile devices more and more indoors, not just outdoors. Low latency uh, to support real time applications, very important, especially for video, for gaming, and for quality interaction. Interoperability with existing mobile technologies. Uh, these networks will be able to communicate both with 3G and 4G, and very important uh, as we move forward. Enhanced security, probably top of our list. Extremely important that we secure these new networks as much as we can. Uh, we need to focus on the available technologies uh, to protect these networks and, and increasing security and enhanced security is more possible and more supportable in an IPv6 environment in 4G mobility. Seamless international roaming, for those of you that travel a lot uh, to these meetings and beyond, very important. And for the first time, this platform will really provide high quality seamless roaming uh, with uh, applications that do require a lot of capacity. Uh, 